Despite the financial success of Delta, our contract's fixed cost is still short almost $1 billion from its pre-bankruptcy value. The value of the Delta PWA is largely supported by four pillars, pay, quality of life, retirement and insurance, and scope. Delta pilots took pay cuts totaling 42% during Delta's financial crisis. Today, adjusted for inflation, pay rates must increase 22% to reach their pre-bankruptcy level. Additionally, historical pay overrides, such as night and international pay, are either well below their traditional value or totally gone. Finally, several Delta fleets have a lower pay rate when compared to our peers. Reflecting Delta's position as the worldwide industry leader, hourly pilot pay and overrides must be industry leading with no reduction to profit sharing. Now is the time. In many cases, a Delta pilot's quality of life remains affected by bankruptcy era concessions. Reroutes were designed to be used as an operational recovery tool, but have evolved into a daily scheduling practice. Not only do reroutes abrogate seniority, but they often result in inconsistent pay treatment. Previously, Delta pilots earn more vacation and accrued it earlier in their career. Delta pilot vacation value lags the industry. Deadhead seat selection at Delta continues to deteriorate. Working Delta pilots are often assigned the worst seats on the aircraft, while the best seats are given away for free. Scheduling rules directly affect a pilot's quality of life. Rotation quality has declined as Delta pilots are working more days and flying longer duty periods with more legs. Advance entitlements have become few and far between. A 365-day conversion window creates uncertainty and imposes an unnecessary burden on a pilot's life. Pilots need better control over their training and OE schedule. A day is a day. Delta pilots in training should be paid for their time at work. Industry-leading pilots should not lag their peers and lose money while attending required training. Pilots are trusted with the lives of the passengers and jets that cost tens of millions of dollars, yet are continuously harassed over verification for broken bones, surgeries, and the common cold. The continued bankruptcy-era practices are no longer appropriate, especially given Delta's dominance and success within a thriving industry. Now is the time to restore our pilots' quality of life. Perhaps the greatest impact of the bankruptcy era has been the loss of retirement and insurance benefits. Additionally, active and retiree insurance benefits have both increased in cost and decreased in quality since Delta emerged from bankruptcy. The Delta Pilots Medical Plan is the most expensive in the industry and in many cases provides less coverage than other cheaper plans available to our peers. In subsequent years, small steps have been taken to improve the DPSP. However, large strides must still be made. Adding retirement savings capacity with an optional secondary retirement vehicle, such as a market-based cash balance plan, will enable Delta pilots to replace more of their income in retirement. Now is the time for restoration of the value of Delta pilots' retirement and insurance. Improvements to pay rates and work rules are worthless if scope fails to protect our flying from outsourcing. Regional carriers, the growth of JVs, code shares and ownership stakes in foreign airlines impact every Delta pilot's career. In order to protect advancement opportunities to top-paying international wide-body fleets, our scope must ensure equitable growth with Delta's foreign partners. Since 2016, there have been over 20 scope violations and the number is growing. It's time to value Delta Widebody Metal alongside foreign partners.